Hello again, welcome back to the channel. New baseball card group break announcement starts right now. Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com is the only way to get in. Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. PayPal, friends and family is preferred, but goods and services is also accepted. Um, USA shipping is built in. Canada shipping is $15 extra. Uh, there is going to be bonus packs. There could be some bonus drawings. Let me go through everything. I'll go through the team list, the pack lineup, all that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> there is um, a special Wander Franco drawing. And the winner will receive four Wander Franco stars of the MLB cards. So the way the Wander Franco drawing works, pay close attention. Okay, If you spend... $40 or more on this break. Again, if you spend four, at least $40 or more on this break, you will be entered into a special drawing with only other people who have spent $40 or more on that break. Um, and then I will draw, I'll put the names of the randomizer, spin it like five or six times, and then uh, the name, one name will win all four of these cards. Now, keep in mind, um, most of my breaks, a lot of people do not spend $40. Most people spend less. Um, and so you might be the only one to spend at least $40. And if you're the only one, you're going to win. And if there's two people, your odds of winning are 50-50. If, you know, three people, your odds are 33.3%. Are anyway, the point is your odds are really good, but that's only for people who spend $40 or more. So there is going to be another drawing. If I can sell at least 15, sorry, if I can sell at least 20 teams, if I can sell at least 20 of the 30 teams, um, then there'll be a second drawing. And this, this separate drawing will be, for everyone, it's one entry per team. So, for example, if you buy a $10 team or a $20 team or a 15 whatever, um, you'll get one entry. If you buy five teams, you get five entries. But this, this drawing will only happen if I sell 20 of the 30 teams or more. And one winner at the end of the randomizing will get this entire stack of mosaic. These are rookie cards, rookie card parallels, regular parallels. Um, it is a nice stack. I know this is a baseball card group break. But uh, the winner will receive this nice stack. And if you only care about baseball cards, you can always trade them to uh, someone else. Trust me, you're going to find someone who will want these. But that that's the drawing, for example. So this drawing, let me be super, super clear. I know I'm repeating myself. If I sell 20 or more teams, uh, one entry per team. So if you get five or 10 teams, uh, you get a better chance. Um, if you get one team, you get one entry, five teams, five entries, so on and so forth. Anyway, and then one person will win this stack. And then... Um, if you spend $40 or more, you'll be entered in a separate drawing. Now, for example, um, if you get, technically one person can win both of the stacks. Like if a person spends over $40, they can win the first time and the second time because there's two different drawings. Odds are that's probably not going to happen, but it is possible. So like that's not eliminated. Um, I'm going to go through the team list here. You can see. So $30, $30 for the Yankees, possible Jeter cool card. Uh, $30 for the Mariners because of a possible cool Ken Griffey Jr. or A-Rod card. $30 for the Cincinnati Reds because of a possible um, Griffey Jr. card. And $30 for the Tampa Bay Rays because of a possible Wander Franco parallel or regular rookie card. Okay, $20 level is the Washington Nationals slash Montreal Expos. Okay, $15 level, you have the Phillies are 15, the Red Sox are 15, Cardinals are 15, Mets are 15, Dodgers 15, Padres 15, Twins 15, Tigers 15. White Sox, Orioles, Blue Jays, Angels, Astros, Cubs, Braves, Giants, Rangers, and Royals. As you can see, most of the teams are $15. There is a $10 tier. The way the $10 tier works is a two-team minimum and less. Um, so, for example, if you're only getting $10 teams, you have to get two to get up to $20. Otherwise, you can do a $10 with a 15 or a $10 with a 20 or a $10 with a 30 But, you know, anyway. Um, the Oakland Athletics, the Rockies, the Cleveland Indians slash Guardians, uh, Arizona Diamondbacks, Pittsburgh Pirates, Milwaukee Brewers, Miami Marlins, and then the Allen Ginter non-baseball. So th th that would include inserts and then like the, the sports figures that are not um, baseball players. But that is your tiers. Let me go through all the packs. There's tons of packs, and then I'll go through the bonus packs. So we have, for this year, we have four fat packs. Four pa fat, fat packs of Series 1. Um, so... Obviously, we're looking for Wander Franco parallels. We also have four um, 16 card packs for this year. So they're, this year is represented. Uh, last year, uh, we have um, four Stadium Club. We're looking for Chisholm and Brian Hayes and Kirilov and Dylan Carlson, all the all the cool rookies. You know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, we also from last year, we have four Ginter packs. Um, so the same rookies there. So we got the current stuff covered. And then we got tons and tons of old packs. As you can see, I got even more off screen. Um, in total, there's like 60 or 70 packs. A lot of it's, I wouldn't call it vintage because it's not vintage, but it is throwback. So this is Bowman Hobby 1997. Then we have two Donruss 2002. And then we have um, Donruss 2003. We have Bowman 98 Series 2. We have Gold Label 1999. We have three 2003 Series 1s. We have Leaf 2004. Tops Finest 96 Series 2. Clear Focus. Uh, whatever year that was, 2000. Clear Focus 2000. We got tons more to go. Let me go through them all. Um, there is tons of potential. So 2006 here. Uh, these are the Jumbo Hobby Packs. Jumbo Hobby Packs from 2006. As you can see, Series 2. Then we have some more 2003 Series 1 for more focus there. Um, then we have EX. Um, three cards from 2000. Then we go back to 2006. This is series one. These are uh, hobby packs for regular hobby packs. 2000 Bowman. Uh, 2003 series one there. A couple of those. And we got more. I'm telling you, we got more. 96 Tops Laser series two. Donra Studio 2005. 2003 series two. Fleer Premium. Oh, what year is that? Say 2002. Uh, Platinum 2002. 2008 Jumbo. Jumbo pack series two. Talk about value, 2003 Series 1, 99, Gold Label, we got an SP pack from 96, another EX pack, Top Stadium Club 99, a 2000 Bowman, Fleer Tradition 99, uh, Hollow Graphics, uh, Studio uh, Donruss 2002, Fleer Genuine 2003, uh, Top's Finest 2000 Hobby Series 1, Bowman 97 Series 2, uh, Upper Deck 2002, we got Draft 2004, uh, Bowman 2005, um, got a Topps Chrome 2000, Finest Series 2 2000, Studio, whatever year that is, 2004, uh, 2005 Studio, another SP pack, this one's from 95, and then finally the last pack is going to be this Donruss 2003. So as you can see, look, look at all these packs. Look at all these packs we got here. We got packs, 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 packs. So this is all like um, tons of packs, as you can see, tons of potential, tons of different years. Um, so I don't know. I think it's looking. I think it's like over a thousand total cards are going to be opened. So you're if you get one team, you're probably going to get at least thirty cards for your team or more. Obviously, you're searching for some some monsters. Let me go through the guaranteed bonus packs because yes. I do have guaranteed bonus packs. Um, so everyone's going to get, the reason I do them if you never join one of my breaks is everyone gets something and no one goes home empty handed. Now a lot of it's what I have on hand and so all the packs are different sizes. But let me go through it. Here is your Blue Jays packs. So we have two cards, but one is a rookie of Vernon Wells and the other one's a first Bowman of Calvin Escobar. So only two cards, but they're both cool cards. That is your Blue Jays pack. Your Mariners pack, Platinum Power SP of Ken Griffey Jr. I think that's card is worth probably 10 bucks just by itself. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. So you only have one card for the Cardinals, but it is a Dylan Carlson Chrome rookie card. So that's probably worth five or six bucks by itself. The White Sox, you only get one card, but it is an out of 399 uh, Dahlquist prospect card from Bowman. Uh, the Orioles only has one card, but it is a green foil board from last year rookie card of Dean Kramer. Out of four ninety nine, and then we go to next the Braves. Here's a stack of stuff: Chipper Jones. There's a team card foil, um, and then a mixture. So there's here's kind of a sampling of some of the cards that are in the packs because uh, a lot of these are, a lot of these are the same year and the same kind of packs um, that are going to be opened. So if you've never seen some of those cards, that's what they look like. Let me go through the other teams. Like I said, there's thirty teams. Um, I would love to sell out this break. It would be awesome. I have not done a break in a long time. 
I've not done a group break um, in a long time. There's their Marlins pack. I'm going to kind of blow through some of these cards. Um, but if you um, have joined my breaks in the past, it does pay to keep watching at this point because you can see sometimes I make huge mistakes and put like decent, like really kind of valuable kind of cards that I shouldn't have put in there. Um, but here is your Washington Nationals slash Montreal Expos pack. That's the only team included that uh, they changed their name halfway through the uh, series run. So that's what the gold label looked like, by the way. Anyway, so there's your Expos slash Nationals bonus pack. These are just bonus packs, by the way. Your Mets pack coming your way. Um, and a lot of these are a mixture. There's a chrome of Javi Baez right there. That's a cool looking card. I know he's now on the Detroit Tigers. Um, but anyway, here's kind of like a sampling of what some of the cards will look like um, when I open some of these packs. There's the holographics. That's what the holographics look like. It's a cool looking card. Anyway, um, so it's cool if you like new stuff, if you like 20 year old stuff, then this is kind of like the break for you. I'm not gonna say I'm the only one, but I pretty, I think I'm probably the only one who's gonna be running a break um, sometime this weekend or on Monday that's going to be running this kind of a mixture. There's a lot of people who do series one from this year. Um, there's not a lot of people who do throwback, but there's, as far as I know, there's no one out there who's doing what I'm doing where it's just like a mixture and then also throwing in bonus packs. Um, I know that I am touting my own break, but if I don't do it, then who will? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, there's the Cincinnati Reds bonus pack. There's a the Ken Griffey Jr. there from 2002. Um, and we have the Pittsburgh Pirates. Arr! But like I said, I would uh, I would love to sell out the break. Also, I'm going to be honest. If you uh, if you buy a whole bunch of spots, well, obviously you got a better chance of winning the Wander Franco collection there. Um, by the way, those Wander Francos I think are going for between seven and eight dollars each, um, and there's four of them. But uh, yeah, you get a better chance of winning the Wander Franco thing. But I'm going to I'll probably throw in some bonus cards. I can't guarantee anything. But usually, I don't know if you if you've never done it. If you've never if you bought like forty or fifty or more dollars on one of my breaks, you notice that I usually I usually throw in a whole bunch of bonus stuff just to uh, reward the people who who uh, who go big, so to speak. Look at that cool um, die cut there. So anyway, like I said, um, I don't think there's there's not a guarantee of an autograph or a relic. But we do have a lot of packs, um, so there's no there's no guarantees in this break. Um, but well, there's guaranteed bonus packs. But what I'm talking about are hits. There's no guarantees in that way. But there are potential to hit a whole bunch of cool stuff because, like I said, we have stuff from various different years. Here's the Dodgers pack. Man, there's a lot of Dodgers cards. And some of these are. Some a rookie and all that kind of good stuff. Look at that cool gold label. So some of these sets, they didn't have one of ones or autographs, I don't think. The best that there was was some serial numbering and some weird parallels. But uh, anyway, some of them do have one of ones that are not possible. Got the Giants, the San Francisco Giants. Um, that is a Rockies card, so let me figure out why that happened. That No, that's not supposed to be. Never mind, I sorted it wrong. Um... But as, uh, as Swing Away would say, the street value is off the charts, even with the bonus packs. Let me get that thing sorted out with the Giants there. There's the Diamondbacks. Again, it's Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. Again, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. I will try to put a comment listing the teams that have been sold. Um, and if I miss out, then I will, I will apologize. But yeah, the worst that happens if you're interested is you tell me I want this team and I'll be like, that's sold and I'll awful, I'll awful, I'll offer some kind of alternative to you. So it does not hurt to email me. I'm not gonna but but there's your Yankees pack, which also has some other random stuff thrown in there because I had to give it to someone. Um, I didn't have to, but I did. Oh, I don't know why I included it. That was, that was foolish of me, never mind. Anyway, that was your Yankees pack with that first pack. Look, you get a Jaron Duran rookie card in your Boston Red Sox pack. And they get a couple of CDs, like CD-ROMs. That's right. I'm not joking. You get actual CD-ROMs. So I think the Giants pack is just these three cards, I believe. I'm an idiot. I need to figure it out. Tampa Bay Rays pack here. 
But anyway, it's going to be cool if you haven't seen a lot of these things. Uh, it's going to be your first time, that kind of stuff. Cleveland Indians, you get a home run challenge. Eli Morgan, Ramirez. I am speeding up a little bit here just because I don't want this to be a half an hour video, just like a half an hour, <laughs> just like a half an hour uh, preview video. have ourselves the Kansas City Royals. Honestly, some of the $10 and $15 teams, you're getting like $10 and $15 value just out of the bonus packs before I even open like a regular pack. Because um, you got to remember, like, I got to mail these out and it costs me like five or six bucks to mail stuff. That's not a you problem. That's like a post office problem, but you know, it is, a, it is still a problem. Detroit Tigers. That was a rainbow foil of Matthew Boyd, in case you're wondering. I have to put on a fan because it is getting hot in here. Not that you guys needed to hear that, but you heard it anyway. Got the Minnesota Twins pack. A lot of throwback names there, huh? There's your, the gold label cards are cool. I don't think the gold label has one of ones or autographs, but I think you can get it out of 25 maybe. So, And then, you know what? Um, I'm going to thicken up. Here is the Giants pack, so I'll throw these in there. So there's your Giants pack. Look at that. Tell me that Giants pack isn't just, like, stacked to the rack of Ruski. Man, you're getting $15 of value just in that Giants pack before I open a regular pack. So there's your Giants pack. Let me put it back in there. Um, I've got the Angels pack here. Move on. See, those holographic cards are super neat. And the SP cards are neat. Um, like I said, there's a lot of sets that I'm not even terribly familiar with. Um, because I was not collecting back then. All right, the Houston Astros. We got like three teams left, and then I'm going to shut it down. There's a Caminade. Okay, and two more to go. We have the Texas Rangers, and then we're going to end with the Oakland Athletics. Hey, bro, there. And Sealy. So, some cool looking cards. For sure, Skowitz. For sure, Skowitz. And the final, like I said, Kevin Buddy Carter Breaks at gmail.com. Look at that. Ruben Sierra Tejada. Look at Ricky Henderson. All right. So, looking forward to hearing from you on the old email. Take care. Bye.